Oh, but, but, but if you have a CNG truck, you're going to get an overweight ticket, right? I thought the same. But that is not actually true. Let's take a peek at this truck here. So, we have 2020 Freightliner Cascadia, minus the diesel tanks. Now, for those of you who don't know, the diesel tanks weigh, well, I don't know what the diesel tanks weigh, but diesel fuel weighs about eight pounds per gallon. And CNG natural gas weighs about mm, 6.9 pounds, compressed natural gas, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, back to this overweight. So all of this stuff here, this encasing and this equipment here, and then the tanks are in there too. All of this adds weight. And um, it's a pretty good amount of weight too. Not to mention, because this is a uh, truck equipped with a uh, highly on hybrid EX package, we also have the weight of the battery box and the cooling unit. So, does all this extra equipment mean that truck drivers are going to get a bunch of overweight tickets? and not be able to uh, drive their trucks uh, when you have a heavy load? And the answer is no. Hey, check it out, I got a bird's nest in there. I gotta clean that out. I uh, ruined a bird's happy home. Kinda feel bad about that. So, no you will not be overweight. Apparently in uh, 2018, the federal government passed some sort of special CNG truck law and I put a link for the article that uh, basically breaks it all down, down below in the description. And what it more or less says is, now I never knew this because I never drove a CNG truck until December, December 30th of 2021. You guys remember the day I picked up the truck. So, apparently this law has been around for a while, and basically what it states is that if you have a CNG semi-truck, because of the extra equipment on the back of it, you can actually pull loads, or you can actually scale out legally. This is truck and trailer with freight in the trailer at 82,000 pounds. That is now the legal gross vehicle weight. This is for CNG trucks. Check out that article down below. Normally, in the United States of America, a Class 8 semi-truck with a trailer, tractor trailer, 18-wheeler, whatever you want to call it, can haul or be at a gross vehicle weight. That's truck plus trailer and freight inside uh, can be 80,000 pounds. That's the norm. Now there's obviously variations of this, heavy haul, there's overweight permits, uh, all kinds of variations, but for just talking in general, it's 80,000 pounds, but because this is a CNG truck, it's actually 82,000 pounds. Now, let me show you the difference. So I got two bill of ladings here from loads that I've delivered recently. One of them was in the diesel truck, and the other one was in the CNG truck. So. Let's look at the difference. Uh, this one was from January 14th of this year. That day I was in the diesel truck. And I picked up some sand and it says right here my tear weight. Okay, so there's my tear weight. Let's see if I can get you guys to see this. Can we see this or what? Can we see that, my tear weight? Come on, cell phone. You can do it. I believe in you. It's a little blurry, huh? Can you guys see that tear weight? Okay, hold, hold on one second. Okay. The tear weight. That is the empty weight of the truck and trailer. This is without any sand in it. Was 30,460 pounds. Now, if you're wondering, oh, Dexter, why is your gross vehicle weight 83,700 pounds? Well, this particular diesel truck, I had an overweight permit for that truck. So, overweight permits in Texas, 
you can pull 5% over the vehicle's max gross vehicle weight. Now, as I just told you, the max gross vehicle weight is 80,000 pounds. 80,000 pounds, 5% of that is 4,000. So legally, in Texas, with an overweight permit, my gross vehicle weight can be up to 84,000 pounds. So my gross vehicle weight here is 83,700. That was totally legal. Now, back to uh, the point of the difference between CNG and normal Class 8 trucks or diesel Class 8 trucks in terms of gross vehicle weight. So as you can see here, 30,460 pounds. This is the, the weight of a diesel truck. The diesel truck I was driving, the pneumatic trailer, empty. It was 30,460 pounds. Well, they uh, changed the printer ink in there, apparently, on this day. Uh, so this is with the CNG truck that I'm currently in. Now notice the tear weight. The tear weight is 32,880 pounds, which is roughly, what is that, about 2,400 pounds more? 2,400 pounds more. So, now that we know that we can pull loads with an extra ton of leniency because it's a CNG truck, it's basically the same difference. And that's because this CNG truck also has the weight of the Hylion battery and the Hylion cooling unit on the back of it. Oh, and the co-pilot, I'm sure this adds one pound, maybe less. You guys know what I'm talking about. So, for those of you who uh, pull loads that pay by the ton, in Texas, with a diesel truck and an overweight permit, you can pull up to 84,000 pounds. 84,000 pounds would be the gross. That is 10% of the max gross vehicle weight, which is 80,000. 4,000 is 5% of that. Excuse me, I said 10%. It's 5% of the gross vehicle weight. 5% which would mean that you can pull 84,000 pounds max gross. Now, if you have a CNG truck, if you have a CNG truck, you can pull 86,100. Because in a CNG truck, the max gross vehicle weight is 82,000 pounds and 5% of that is 4,100. That would give you a max gross vehicle weight of 86,000 100 pounds so if you have a cng truck you're not losing out you can pull the same load you would pull with diesel not be overweight because the federal government made a law that allows you to pull one ton extra two thousand pounds and there it is